I want to hand it off to you because you preach about this all the time. So I know you got a lot to say. Yeah, I, I do. But just give people a backstory. So this um, is probably be breaking news to Alex. That's why I got breaking news right here. <laughs> breaking news to Alex is. So understand that me and Alex, we we talk about deals all the time. We talk about deals all the time. And my hope, my hope for him, and I know it's going to sound selfish of me, but I don't care. I'm going to say it. My hope for him that it doesn't go smoothly. And the reason why I don't want it to go smoothly, because I don't want him to think that it's easy all the time, especially when you get to like that first, second, and third deal. If it goes smoothly, then you're like, oh, all else going to be easy. I'm hoping that he comes to me with the problem because that's where I live in. I live in, hey, it's a problem. Be a problem solver. There's a problem. Be a problem solver. And Alex, like you said, I always talk about it. Bad things are guaranteed to happen. So be prepared to handle for when bad things happen. Everybody has this, you know, this ideal or, you know, they have their blinders on that everything is going to turn out perfect. I never look at it like that. I'm always looking for contingencies. I mean, you can put it to my military background or whatever, but the plan never works exactly how you planned it out. So be prepared for contingencies. You know, going from step A to step Z, if the plan breaks off a of step M, you got to have a contingency on what to do to get it back on track to get to, you know, to do N, O, P, you know, going down the line. And but that's the thing where I think many people have that breakdown at. And then when you go to the beginning of the video, when he said people ask me all the time how to set up a budget, but they don't do it. And the the speaker was right or the host was right. It's very uncomfortable because everybody believed that they could spend their way to wealth. Nobody wanted to change their lifestyle. Nobody wanted to make the sacrifices. But they want to see, oh, they always have this illusion. If I make more money than I will be all right. No, that's not how life works. Life works is the people that make sacrifices are the people that win. That's that are winning and the people that will win. If you're not making sacrifices and you just think you're going to just, oh, just skate through life and everything's going to be good. That's not the true reality of it. Bad things happen in real life. You know, if you got that, you know, golden umbrella where no rain touches you, then and I don't know nobody to have it. Heck, Jesus didn't even have it. So I don't know why people think that they got it. So that's the, you know, mentality that people go in and go through life about. And then they get mad at the people who prepare for situations like that. But before I go down the rabbit hole, Alex, what you got for him? Yeah, I really liked this video. I like that it's related to what we always talk about. And to your point, sure you can be at ease knowing at least two of the three properties i bought did not go smooth <laughs> but, well, but it is <laughs> <laughs> and uh it definitely is a learning process and i think those processes that don't go smooth are the most necessary to equip you for further deals and strengthen your strategies strengthen your tactics on acquiring because if everything simply goes easy, it's it's the same reason why you don't want, uh, well, I speak to you mostly, but like how you always say you don't want your, your son to grow up in a world where everything's handed to him. You know, you want him to, to learn everything, to, to earn it and to see the hard work that goes into it because that's what's going to prepare you to deal with those real world situations. And it gets your brain going too. a lot of people I've noticed they don't it's like they don't have the ability or they don't have the practice of finding solutions. So when you have that practice and you're always put into a situation where you're looking for a solution to those problems, your brain is always working and you're always looking for whether it be loopholes, shortcuts, just ways to get the problem solved rather than the typical um the typical way of solving that problem and so being creative with it basically and that's one thing that i've learned especially in real estate is there's so many ways to be creative with finding solutions to 
an issue with the property or negotiating the deal, there's always a way that you can change the way how it's normally done and do it your own way. Yeah. And, and that's what, that's what, and of course, I always tell you, talk to you about the process. I only enjoy the process, the process of making a deal work, the process of things bad happening and then you finding a way out of it. Um, when it comes to rental properties, I mean, Alex, you know, I mean, I just get a property once I'm closed on it. It's, it's like an ex-girlfriend. I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember it. I mean, it's just going to the next one. I'm not, I'm not sitting here harping on it like, oh, I got a rental property now. Yeah, I'm in the money. It's going to the next one. I just love to be in that process, in that mode. And I always say it not to you and not even to people on the channel. Everybody I tell, bad stuff is going to happen. It's You have to be prepared for when the bad stuff happens. And especially when you start talking about the land of investing, especially in real estate, you're dealing with people. You're dealing with transactions. You're dealing with different institutions from title company to banks, to real estate agents, to tenants, to contractors, to extermination people, to, you know, I mean, water softener companies, lawnmower people. Everybody is not going to be on the up and up. It's always going to be something. They're always going to have an issue or a deal that comes on. Even once you have property managers, there's stuff that comes up. I mean, right now I'm dealing with one property manager was on maternity leave. We passed it off to an assistant or they passed it off to an assistant. The assistant messed up the books. And then now we're trying to rectify it. I'm not in there saying, oh my God, this is, I need the money to pay the mortgage. It's all right. This, this, this is the issue. Let's go back, look at it, see how long this was an issue. Let's rectify it, get the money. But I knew that it was a probability of happening. So I set funds to the side to cover mortgage, cover ob other obligations, because when you already, when you have dealing with people, the ball is going to get dropped sometimes. So you have to prepare and not be surprised that bad stuff is going to happen. And you have to prepare for that. Yeah. Maybe I can't get, a, you know, some extra blue cheese on my steak or something <laughs> this week, but I'm, but everything is taken care of. It's not something that I'm going to lose sleep over because I'm always prepared, not surprised as bad things going to happen because bad things are always going to happen. The people that persevere is the people that's prepared for them. The people that's going to climb up in the shell and not know what to do and to set up GoFundMe accounts are the people that's not surprised, that's not prepared. And they're always surprised that bad stuff happens. If you're in business, bad stuff is going to happen. I mean, I got many stories about business, business deals, business contracts falling apart after having many of conversations, many of calls, many of game plans going over exactly what's going to happen. Then we show up at the site and then all communication breaks down and what we planned on did not happen. But be prepared, not surprised for it because it's going to happen, especially if you want to get into this realm of entrepreneurship, real estate investor, um, stocks, stocks. It, it happens also, you know, a company don't uh, perform like they like everybody expected them to perform on a quarterly earnings call. So the stock price dropped. That's something bad that happened. Do you have a contingency on if the if it is, if that does happen? Do you have a contingency of, hey, the stock price dropped, but the number's still good. Do you have money set aside to allocate to put more money up front or put more money into the investment to take advantage of the depreciated price? Do you have the aptitude or ability to look at the financial statements and say, hey, this company is going in the wrong direction? And um, this is a quick story, Alex. Uh, I remember we had a conversation. I'm not going to say the company's name, but it was a stock that you invested in. And then I called you and I was like, uh, the company is uh, the company is going the wrong way. Alex was fighting the feeling, y'all. He was fighting the feeling. He was like, no, nah, they ain't not going the wrong way. Uh -uh. And I just, I just broke down my reasons of believing it. And and uh, the reasons why and Alex he didn't want to he didn't want to give in he didn't want to give in he was holding on I'm like uh, Alex this is not what you think it is but just having that ability to understand to read between the lines of different like news articles and what's going on those are the proponents and things that you need to know especially in the stock market of what's going on they can sell you a whole bunch of fluff in the news media but you have to have the ability to question information received to see what's going on but all in all alex eventually exited the stock and then the stock has been trash ever since so 
But those things happen. Those things happen. But you got to have the ability to prepare for those things to happen. Some stocks are just, you got to cut them, cut them off at the root and just say, forget it. And some stocks you have, you know, have the ability to take advantage when you get depressed pricing. Like this, uh, yesterday, Alex, I, I went and bought, a, you know, another thousand shares of the stock that I've been talking about for years because it gave me back a good price. So I went and got some more. The financials hasn't changed. It's just, you know, people in the media, you know, manipulating the price. So I took advantage of it. And those are the different avenues that you got to go about, especially in this world of entrepreneurship. Yeah, well put. Um, and there's, I mean, there's so many learning points in whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's personal finance, whether it's business, real estate, there's so much to learn and so many ways that you can improve yourself rather than just, you know, stay so mundane. But you know, back to the video, I mean, I really like that the guy was very clear on bad things are always going to happen. And that's why I wanted to especially react mm -hmm. to this video, because we always talk about bad things are going to happen. And what are you doing to prepare for them and being in a better position to um, withstand that storm, I guess you can say, when it comes, because it will come and you can either be battling it or let it kick your butt and take control of your life well said but with all that being said guys if you like the video hit the like button check out their video too since we posted it uh leave a comment down below share this video subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one